Well, he had a heart attack and he was fortunate enough to survive it. And now John Tanner is on a mission and he's telling anyone who'll listen how he changed his life, his diet and his health. So John, thanks for joining us live here this morning. Um, so exactly where and when did you have your heart attack? I live in Pasadena and I thought I was healthy. I was age 52, I ran a mile every day and in the middle of one of my runs, I staggered a couple of steps and hit the ground unconscious with my heart stopped. Had you had any symptoms prior to that? None. You just got up normally. No, and, and this happens a lot in this country. Heart disease is the leading killer and sudden unexpected cardiac arrest is the most common form of heart disease. So this happens all the time. This sounds like this was a massive heart attack, not uh, something little. A lot of times people feel a little something and are able to get to the hospital in time. No, my heart stopped uh, and I'm only here because of a lot of people that acted very quickly mm -hmm. that day. The survival rate for cardiac arrest outside of the hospital is about 3%. So I'm extremely lucky to be here. But as soon as I did, recovered, I started studying, you know, what caused this? I didn't want this to happen again. And I found the most surprising thing. The heart disease is not genetic. It's it caused by what we eat. Oh. And, and if you... Uh, so we've been, it's true what we've been hearing for so many years. You are what you eat and your health and it's, it's tied not just to exercise, you were exercising, right. but also to what you put into your body. Right. What did you discover about the diet? Well, first of all, what doctors want to do is, is uh, put a stent in, in the, the diseased artery. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that increases the longevity by only about 3%. So 97% of the people that would have died doing nothing still die with a stent. Next is statin drugs. It turns out they only improve the death rate by about 9%. So 91% of the people that uh, still die even though they're taking statin drugs. But diet uh, decreases the uh, effects of heart disease by 99.5%. And so, wow. so through your uh, research, you discovered what you think is the ideal diet? Right, and this is not my diet. This is what research has shown. And here's what you need to do to eliminate heart disease. Eliminate all animal products from your diet. We're talking about all kinds of meat, dairy, eggs, refined products, including sugary snacks and donuts. And, no, uh, not the donuts. And not the donuts, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, and, and vegetable oil. And if you do all that, not Wait, wait, eliminate vegetable oils? Yes. That's kind of hard, isn't that? It's in, almost in it's everything. It's natural. Uh, so, but to, to, to cook with, coconut oil is supposed to be good. Uh, sorry, no. Grapeseed oil. No, none of those. No oil, oil. None of, no, no oil at all. No, no oils. That sounds and kind it, of extreme, doesn't it? It's very extreme from one point of view. But the other point of view is if you eat all those things, including the vegetable oils and the animal products, you'll clog your arteries and the doctors will be forced to saw open your chest bone, pry open your ribs, cut a piece of vein from your leg and sew it on this clog on, on your heart artery. And a lot of people think that that's much more extreme. Oh, that doesn't sound very fun at all. No, I, I, what about moderation? Uh, of course, a, a little bit helps a little bit, but the question is, and do you want And my question it? also is, we, also, we, we hear all the time that a little bit of wine, a glass of wine before dinner, mm -hmm. is good for the heart. Aspirin, taking an aspirin a day. The, those, uh, the, the wine study is, of course, uh, funded by the wine industry, so you have to be a little suspect about that. But if you really clean up your diet, get rid of all the animal products, oils, processed mm -hmm. foods, not only does heart disease go away, but type 2 diabetes, stroke, most cancers, and about 30 other diseases just go away if you just clean up your diet in this way. Well, uh, John, thank you so much. We're going to have to leave it there. You have a book. I do want to mention that you have a book uh, out. You've written your story down. And uh, how can people get more information on that? Um, uh, Email us here <laughs> at Crown City News. And we can put you in touch with John Tanner, and he can share his story uh, with you. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. Uh, we're going to go from heart attacks to strokes and, and how, how to, to avoid, avoid strokes. Yes. And I have a feeling that we're going to hear a lot of similar information. <laughs> That's right. And CCC and Sunrise Health Conscious Segment star Jer Dr. Jerome Lisk has some very helpful tips on acting fast to prevent that damage. Stay tuned.